It's time for another Wildcat All-In. Weber State Junior Long Snapper, Grant Sands. Grant, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having We're me. Glad to have you. A long snapper for out of Gilbert, Arizona. Yeah. A long way from the snow. Yeah. Not as much snow down in Gilbert. Uh, not even, right? not yeah. even close, no. Oh, I'm okay. used to my winters being about 70 degrees. Yeah, tough winter. <laughs> Well, we're, we're glad to get to know you and talk to you a little bit about uh, about yourself and get to know you and your time here at Weber State. You've been here for a couple seasons. Mm -hmm. um, did you uh, did you always play football growing up? Um, I played I played pretty much every sport you could think of. Um, the two main I played were football and baseball were the two main. Um, but I mean, I gymnastics for three weeks, lacrosse for a week, tennis for a summer, <laughs> basketball wrestling for a year. I mean, I, if you can win at it and add a ball, I was, I was probably playing it at some yeah, point. There you go. So how did you become a long snapper? I mean, you probably played other positions, certainly. Yeah. How did that so, evolve? I mean, so basically I got cut from baseball and then like, the, so like I'd been snapping uh, on JV and then I got cut from baseball the next day. Uh, I went with my kicker to uh, snap with his kicking coach and then I got the number for my snapping coach, and then from the rest of history, just be, started taking it seriously like four days a week, driving like pretty much an hour to yeah. Phoenix to train and get better and just perfect the craft. You know, it's, I don't know, it's just, yeah. yeah. What, what was the recruiting process like, to, and, and how did you end up here at Weber State? Yeah, so, with, I mean, obviously with specialists, it's a lot different. Uh, you got to go to camps. So like, I went to camps across the country in high school. Um, Florida a lot, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Wisconsin, just all these random places. <laughs> um, and then from there you get ranked, you get all your snaps and kicks charted and all that stuff. And pretty much it's all, all on Twitter, sending out your, sending out your film to coaches, reaching out to coaches on Twitter and try to find a home. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I found it and here. Weber State obviously found you. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. What is it about, and let's be honest, we don't really talk a lot about long snappers yeah right very yeah, often yeah. and i guess unless something yeah maybe negative happens and and i appreciate you being willing to talk about this but you had a some struggles there on the field last year at montana state mm -hmm. uh with the snaps uh, can you take us through what happened that day for you yeah i mean you know it's it's obviously just all your worst nightmares come to life and um you know it's I experienced probably every emotion you can fathom in about a four hour window there. And I mean, it's, it's tough on, it's tough on you mentally. You know what I mean? You got people who never met you, don't know you, um, will never know you. Uh, I mean, nothing can prepare you for people yeah. telling you, <laughs> sending you death threats and, you know, telling you that you should probably kill yourself for a game. And, yeah. you know, I just thank God, my friends, my family, my teammates, everybody who reached out to me, everybody who even didn't reach out to me, but, you know, thought of me enough to be like, hey, like, hope, hope, hope he's doing all right, or maybe say a prayer for me. And, you know, a verse I kept going back to was Proverbs 3. is like, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways submit to him. And, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't know why it happened, you know, in the grand scheme of things, but I know that it was something that, according to his plan, I needed to go through and endure and learn from. And I know one day it's going to make me a better father and all that stuff in the future. And, as much as I wish I could change it, you know, it's... Yeah. So take us through that. I mean, obviously it was a wet day. It rained a yeah. lot. Did that have any impact on it? Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, I don't know. I, it's just... I feel like mentally maybe I wasn't as ready for it. Um, yeah. For as wet and as cold it was going to be. Yeah. And, and obviously people make mistakes. And so yeah. I, I'm sure that's happened to you before. Yeah, yeah. So it happens once and it happens twice. But after it happened a couple of times... What was your thoughts yeah, going I mean, into the next ones? I mean, you're starting to rethink everything you've ever, <laughs> yeah, every ball you've ever snapped in your life. And I mean, I've, I've snapped probably upwards of hundreds of thousands of footballs, and <laughs> I'm, I'm second guessing everything I've ever been taught and learned. And I mean, it's, it's one, it's one of those where it's just like, just get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you mentioned it now a little bit about what, but what were those next few hours and few few days like through because social media is so crazy yeah. and what was that like for you um i mean it was i i mean it was it was tough um but i mean i just leaned on my friends on my family and on god and you know i was i was able to help it through it i can't thank coach hill enough i can't thank sarah enough uh i can't thank all like all the coaches all the teammates here enough for um everything that they did for me and you know i was uh, on the bus back, like I was, I was crying, and everybody thought it was about 
what had, what had just happened. But it was because like I was so overwhelmed with everybody that had reached out to me. People who people who had like never spoken to me or like maybe spoken to me once, like had my number or texted me. It was like, hey, like people were coming up to me on the bus, like, hey, like we're still with you, like we still got you, like we know you're gonna come back from this and you know, it was it was it was it was good to go back to Montana State for that second playoff game and kind of exercise those demons and kind of um even though I'm sure you heard it from the crowd. They, oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, question. yeah, 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 they let me, they let me know about it for sure. Yeah, but you were able to overcome that. Yeah. How do you think this process, this going through will, will change you and how do you grow from it? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's one of those things that i like, I feel like God has a plan for me and it was one of those things that I felt that I, it was something I had to go through in order to turn me into a, a better man, a better father, a better husband in the future and you know I mean as as much as I would like to <laughs> change it and go back and do it all over again it's one of those ones you want back I mean it's I'm just grateful to be waking up this morning and surrounded by the best friends family and teammates in the entire world you know good for you that's great well let's talk a little bit more about some other things off the field <laughs> uh on a lighter note I guess right but uh you've been involved and in maybe our Wildcat fans have seen you on the floor at, at basketball yeah, yeah, games yeah. men's and women's basketball you've been involved been involved as a student in Marketing and promotions, you're out there getting the <laughs> get crowd excited, you know, doing stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good time. Uh, they love to, uh, yeah, that was, uh, the siren was about uh, 20 minutes before tip-off of one game. They're like, hey, would you, would you, like, we have this idea for this, like, would you want to do it? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> like, uh, whatever, whatever they want to try, I'm down for. And, you know, it's, it's fun to just kind of see see that side of the game. You know, I'm, yeah. so, I'm so used to saying, like, just like to play on the field, but now it see like fan experience and different things like that, you know, it's, it's really cool to see that side of the game. And you're majoring in communication mm -hmm. and with a plan to pursue a master's degree mm -hmm. too. And you know, there's yep. an MBA, is that Yeah, right? MBA program, yeah. Okay. What do you think you'll do long-term when football's all done and your college career? What do you think, what do you, think I mean, you want to do? I mean, I'd love to stay in sports. Um, it's part of the reason why I started getting involved with the uh, marketing and stuff like that at the uh, basketball and softball games. Yeah. Um, just love to stay in sports and, you know, Take the other side of it. When you're not playing or not practicing, and obviously it takes a lot of time for all the things you do for football, yeah. but what are some things you like to do outside of football? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm game for anything outside and anything competitive. Uh, big Love golf. I <laughs> probably golf too much. Um, but, I mean, any, anything outside and anything I can win that we're keeping score at, I'm, I'm down for. Now, there's quite a few football players over the years that have liked golf, but yeah. Yeah, can yeah. you hang there with them? Are you... No. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not bad. I think I'm like a high teens handicap. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not bad. I'm not T-Mac. I'm not T-Mac. I'm not going <laughs> to act like I'm T-Mac. Um, but, you know, I mean, I can, I, I, can, I can hold my own a little bit. Okay. Uh, is there something you couldn't live without? Couldn't live without. Jeez. Um, I don't know. Ooh. There may be multiple things. I don't know. Food, water, and shelter? There you go. Those are good things. Well, speaking <laughs> of food, do you have a favorite food? Um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. Uh, I'll, tr I'll, try, I'll try anything. I'll try anything once. Um, but, I mean, I, I got a lot of food. Like a shrimp, um, tacos, pizza. Like, I mean, I'll, okay. I, lo I love all foods. <laughs> I don't discriminate. No, there you go. That's nice of you. Do you have a favorite sports team or favorite pro athlete? Uh, I'm, I'm all uh, Dodgers, Rams, and Lakers. Those are my three teams. Those are my three teams. So even growing up in Phoenix, so, or did you grow up in Phoenix? Or? No. So I was, I was born in Southern California in Orange okay. County, and okay. I, was ra I was raised in Texas. So you still love the Southern California so I've, teams. Yeah, I've, I got a lot of family out there. Okay. Like I got family that's all Dodgers, Rams, and Lakers fans. So there you go. Yeah, I've, I've bounced around a little bit, but I kept those three teams. Well, Grant, is there one thing that many people may not know about you? Um, I don't know how many people know this about me, but uh, it's kind of a funny story. When I was uh, seven or eight, I split my head open on a trampoline pole playing playing football on a on a trampoline, and I had to get my head glued back together. I still got the scars, like. Like from where they glued it back together up there. Wow. When I tell that story, people say it starts making a lot of sense. But <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I appreciate you spending some time with us, talking about all that you've been through. Yeah. We look forward to more uh, with Wildcat football this spring and, and into fall next yeah. year. Absolutely. Thanks Thank you for, for having us, me, Grant. Yep. Go Cats. <laughs>